Yeah, g'day, the uh, VK2YKW. Um, just like to share with you uh, a radio that I built some time ago. It's called an MKS80. Manufactured in the uh, UK as a kit. I paid around eighty dollars for this uh, this kit. That was with the um, the case and postage as well. Just a few uh, little features on there. Uh, to the left on the front panel is the um, fine tuner. In the middle you've got the uh, main tuner. And on the far right is the volume control. On the uh, In the middle uh, between the um, tuner and the uh, volume control you'll see an LED. That's a modulation. Um, indicator tells you that you're modulating and it works in reverse because um, usually you would think that the uh, uh, the LED would light up as you talk but it, it goes dull as you talk lights up very bright when you um, key up and then uh, and then it dulls as you uh, modulate it has a, an LCD display which I don't know whether you can see that, but um, has a voltage uh, input and it has LSB, which obviously is a uh, lower sideband, and the frequency. And it covers the full uh, 80 metre band. Up the top there uh, is the antenna coupling. In the middle is the uh, power, uh, the, the power cord or power jack, sorry. And next to that, on the left, on the uh, on the left is the um, microphone jack. There is another jack there on the top, uh, next to the mic jack uh, for an extension speaker. I've opted uh, with the little radio to have a built-in speaker. Um, there's not a great deal of room to put a speaker in them, but I've uh, I put one in there. It's only, I found a very small speaker in my junk box, and uh, decided to put a built-in speaker in it, which works quite well actually. I'm I'm quite um, quite pleased with it. Um, It's called an MCARS 80. Uh, and if you type that in on Google, uh, you should get to the site. Um, they're all uh, through-hole components on, on board. There are uh, a few tricky um, transformer winds on it because they're very small. Um, and very tricky to wind but um, if you've got a bit of time and, um, and if you want a uh, QRP radio for mountain topping or soda or just going camping and throwing an antenna in the tree and having a bit of fun um, this is the one that you may look at um, I'm quite happy with this little radio. Fairly easy build. If you can identify components and solder, you shouldn't have a problem. Although the components are quite small, uh, so it may be a little bit tricky if you've got big fingers. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm sure um, uh, most uh, ham radio operators shouldn't have a problem. And um, and it's highly recommended. Just have a go at it. I'm no world beater, but uh, I put it together. Also built the uh, one down the bottom there. That's uh, an MST 400. Uh, that's a Series 2. That's 40 meter, um, 440 meter 
radio. There is a YouTube video on that one too as well. Um, that I have done. And they're a fine little radio as well. But um, I just thought I'd like to share with you guys my little MKS80, which works very well and uh, I'm quite happy with. So if you want to leave a comment, do so. And uh, hopefully there'll be more videos soon. VK2YKW73. And we'll catch you all again. Bye.